Hi boys and girls, so we're gonna work on this page today for a letter book. Um, it's page 15 and 16, and you're going to listen to several poems about the weather. And then you're gonna pretend you're looking out of the window. The first scene is a winter scene, right? And <clears throat> imagine that you're all cozy and warm in the house, and you're watching the snow outside. Listen to these poems about snow. This one's called Snow. The snow fell softly all the night. It made a blanket, soft and white. It covered houses, flowers, and ground, but it did not make a single sound. This one's called First Snow. Snow makes whiteness where it falls. The bushes look like popcorn balls. The places where I always play look like something else today. And the last one, snowy morning. Everywhere I walk and go, I leave my step marks in the snow. All right, let's, we're gonna go to another one now. It says, but it uh, isn't always snowing when we look out our window. <clears throat> Some days are windy. <clears throat> and they can come in any season. There are winter, windy days in winter. There are blowy days in summer chill winds in the fall, and warm winds in the spring. Listen now to the poems about wind as you look out your window at the windy scene. This one's called The Whirl and Twirl. Like a leaf or a feather in the windy, windy weather, we will whirl around and twirl around and all sink down together. This one's called Little Wind. Little wind blow on the hilltop. Little wind blow down the plain. Little wind blow up, up, blow up the sunshine. Little wind blow off the rain. This one's called windy wash day. <clears throat> the wash is hanging on the line. That means the clothes. And the wind's blowing. Dresses all so clean and fine. Beckoning and bowing. Stockings twisting in a dance. Pajamas very tripping, and every little pair of pants upside down and skipping. All right, now we're going to look at this one. The next time there's a windy day, ask your parents if you can go outside and play with the wind and let it troll you around. So, sunny days are the most fun of all. It's hard to stay inside on a sunny day, but for now, just pretend that you are inside looking out at a beautiful sunny day. Listen to these poems about the sun. This one's called The Sun. The sun is a ball of roaring heat, and when you step on cement, it burns your feet. Sun makes the plants grow and grow, and when it rains, the sun makes a rainbow. This one's called The Sun is Up. The sun is up, the sun is shining bright, the sun has chased away the stars of night. The birds, the bees, the butterflies come a rollicking, frolicking, hail the day. All right, and this one is called sprinkling. Sometimes in the summer when the day is hot, daddy takes the garden hose and finds a shady spot. Then he calls me over, looks at my bare toes and says, why, you need sprinkling, you thirsty little rose. All right, sunny days are nice, but I think you're get, you'll get tired of them if they were the only kind of days we had. So sometimes a rainy day is nice for a change. Rainy days are important too, you know. They help the flowers grow and wash the dust off the plants and buildings. Listen now to some poems about the rain. You probably know the first one by heart. It's called, it's raining, it's pouring. It's raining, it's pouring. The old man is snoring, bumped his head. So he went to bed and he couldn't get up in the morning. The next one's called the rain. Rain on the green grass and rain on the tree and rain on the house top, but not upon me. The next one's called rain. The rain is raining all around. It falls on field and tree. It rains on the umbrellas here and on the ships at sea. City rain. 
Rain in the city, I love to see it fall, slantwise where the buildings crowd, red brick and all. Streets of shiny wetness where the taxis go, with pebble, with people and umbrellas all bobbing at to and fro. The next poem, Boys and Girls, was written by a six-year-old boy. It's called Rain. Rain makes me feel sad, wet and slow. Rain is so wet and drizzly and cold. Rain makes puddles and mud, which oozes and goozes in my shoeses. All right, let's turn the page to the questions. Okay. All right, so let's look at the top row. Okay, where you see the ball. All right, listen for the question. What kind of weather makes you carry an umbrella and wear boots? Circle the picture that makes you think of umbrella weather. So go ahead and circle the one that makes you think of umbrella weather. Now, let's look at the next row. Okay, with the apple in it. What kind of weather covers the ground with the white blanket? makes bushes look like popcorn balls, and fence posts look like they're wearing marshmallow hats. Circle the picture that makes you think of weather that covers the ground with the white blanket. And we're gonna look at this row with the umbrella. What kind of weather makes you wanna go swimming because you feel hot? Circle the picture that makes you think of hot weather. Okay, now the row with the rabbit in it. What kind of weather always seems in a hurry and makes everything twirl around? Clothes on a clothesline, leaves, trees, even people. Circle the picture that makes you think of windy weather. 